but just kind of talk about how the first two days ago. Uh, kids are extremely excited. A lot of energy out there. Um, older guys, you know, I think they've got a good base foundation of the offense. Uh, younger guys, their heads are spinning. Uh, but their effort's there, the attitude's there. Uh, it's just a matter of how quick a lot of those guys can catch on and, uh, you know, be be ready to play, you know, on Saturday. A couple of guys mentioned that the, the retention, the, the kind of the Christmas of the offense has, has been there even the first few days. Have you kind of noticed that that has been pretty good? You know, at times I think it has. Um, you know, the you know, it was day two today, and you know the young guys got off to a good start the first day, and we add a little bit more, and then the pace, and you throw everything in, and so it's just a matter of how quick they can retain things because we're, we've got to keep installing. And, uh, but we really feel like we got some sharp young guys that you know eventually can handle. It's just a matter of how quick, and uh, so our coaches are evaluating after every practice, you know, uh, how quick some of those guys can be ready. Is Quan Bray, uh, does he play receiver, play running back? Yeah, he's playing receiver. Did getting Trey Mason in, did that kind of make yes. that? Yeah, that, that, that definitely helped with that depth. And uh, But like I said, you know, Quan is a receiver, but he has running back skills, so you know, he gives us some versatility to do some things, you know, you know, after he picks up the offense. Who's really in that race for number three, <clears throat> tailback or running back? Well, you know, Anthony Gully, uh, you know, was definitely in, in, in the middle of that. And uh, you know, he, he was there in the spring before he got hurt. And, uh, you know, when, I believe you know, he played uh, offense and played running back his freshman year, too. So he at least has a knowledge of what we're doing. And, you know, he runs the ball well and he can catch it out of the backfield also. Can you tell us about the fourth quarterback that's in camp now? Uh, yeah, Worth Campbell. Yeah. He's getting some reps learning the offense. Of course, you know, we ask a lot of our quarterback and uh, his head's spinning a little bit now, but he's got a good attitude. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to get the base foundation offense for him. How much is it, have you seen from Kyle, has it been easier for him to pick things up because of his knowledge of, no. of your yeah, offense? There, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, a real similar offense, but at the same time, he was one of those guys that, you know, got off to a good start yesterday and we added some things. And so that kind of tells you he, he's comfortable with what we're doing, but when you add the pace and the speed of the game, I mean, you know, it, it takes a little bit for those young guys. Um, you know, to really the game to slow down, the mind to slow down, and you know we do a lot of communication things and uh, before the play even starts, and so he's just trying to gather all that in. But but I'm confident, you know, he'll he'll pick that up, and uh, you know, and, and you know he should get get better, at, you know, every practice. So well, his chance come basically when the pads go on, you start going for. Well, I think all of them will. You know, the first two days you're not in pads, you're just trying to give a base foundation. Uh, you know, put in as many plays as you can. So once the pads come on, you really can see, you know, who's ready to play physically and who may need a little more time. Come about the carryover from spring, and you, know, you didn't get a chance to see Barry and Clint on the field. Mm -hmm. And now the first couple of days, have you seen the good carryover continuation of where they finished? Yeah, the uh, there, there's no doubt. I mean, both those guys know the offense uh, very well. It's just like in the spring, we were really consistent. We were moving people around in positions and. You know, to properly evaluate a quarterback, you know, you've got to have guys that are in the right places for them and everything got to work together. But, you know, we were really thin in the spring and uh, we were moving people around. So it was really hard to evaluate both those guys, to be honest with you, in the spring. But, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be able to evaluate them here in uh, fall camp and you know, let them both compete and see what happens. Since Barry and Clayton, sorry. Go ahead. Since Barry and Clint both had, I guess, you know, a three-year start on Kyle at this point, do you find yourself having to be a little more hands-on with Kyle in this camp? And well, you know, I think all the freshmen that we're at least looking at could possibly help us as coaches. We've got to spend more time with those guys and try to catch them up and, you know, just give them the, every opportunity to, to be successful. So we're spending a lot of time, not just with Kyle, but a lot of these true freshmen uh, you know, to give, give them the best chance. Talk to both Barrett and Clint, and pretty much talk about how their entire lives have been working towards this this point, these next mm -hmm. few weeks. And I know this is not your first rodeo in this mm -hmm. regard, but how tough is it as a coach when you know no matter what decision you're going to make, there's going to be someone that's going to be disappointed. That's that's been, yeah. you know really. Well, that's the tough it. part of coaching. Uh, you know, as a coach, you get close to your players, you care about them, and I've got you know real close relationships with both those guys. And the thing about quarterback, I mean, it's a one, it's a one. One one uh, person job, you know, and uh, it's not like a receiver that you can rotate people in. And 
So it's tough. That's a tough part of it. But both those guys are mature. They understand they're competing hard and as well as Kyle is. And, and all you can do as a coach is be honest. Gus, uh, what made David Johnson so good for you at Tulsa? What, what traits or what skills? Well, Dave Johnson was one of those guys. He knew the offense inside and out. He did exactly what he was coached to do. Um, and he uh, threw the ball in time and it was just tough mentally and physically, and he was a winner. Can you, how fast was he? <clears throat> he probably ran a five one, maybe. He, <laughs> uh, he was a great technician and uh, one of the hardest workers I've ever coached. Anything else? All right, Coach. Appreciate Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.